other trees cannot be broken by snow. And so that this this was in a book. This is not my own sentence. I have stole it. But to me, <laughs> can we just play in that area a little bit? Just, just the second part? Yeah, yeah. Let me just play something like Silence used to be a scary monster, unknown, something that I had to fight with. But it, over time it became something more friendly. <laughs> this silence has everything in it, it's inclusive. And if you just listen into the silence, you start realizing it is full of light. have a huge amount of Japanese shyness. So I'm extremely like, embarrassed about everything, usually anyway. And then suddenly I get this kind of impulse and do something that I have to do. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you comfortable with that? Um, well, see, this comes again from the, the, the way the This trio yeah. project so this is, is in the same journey. It's all about trying to find the way from where I'm coming from. It's kind of a new chapter for me because I've been away from Japan for 22 years and now it's like a full circle. It's important that, that sort of coming together and playing, not in public, not in the performative mode, because the performative mode is a little bit different than the rehearsal mode. The rehearsal mode allows for a different level of risk to be explored and for experimentation to happen. This is a, a new journey for us all, of course. Putting together a new um, generation of material suitable for this, for this trio is, it requires courage from all of us and also ideas from all, all of us. I think really maybe the most important factor in what's really going on is presence of mind and, and, and being in the present moment. That element of being um, attentive to exactly what is occurring when it is occurring is what will bring the tension to the music that really holds it together, that really gives it its substance and gives it, gives it the emotional immediacy. And um, then there's 
We have to find a way as a trio to work together to find the, the best uh, conversation between us all. So it's kind of counter, counterpoint. We have our well. different methodologies, but we have to find a way of, of, uh, of getting this, the whole argument to be cohesive. So I've got my homework up here. When I was very small, I had this dream of that I'd be able to play this only one knows that tells everything about the world, which is strange, but that's kind of zen. That's a forte journey. <laughs> How's your day? That's a forte journey. Izumi is fascinating in respect to the fact that she wants, wants to open up new terrains and new possibilities as a musician. And she's also working in a way that is, allows um, both reception and interaction on the topic of, of this process. She's able to interact in a very, for me, a very interesting way. And um, she is just interested in engagement, interested in the possibilities of where the music can go. And in so doing, um, the experience of working with her is special and wonderful. The important thing is, and I think this is this is uh, this has been with me throughout the whole of my career as a musician. The important thing that I was taught was the art of listening, the art of working together, of supporting each other in what could be quite a, um, a tricky situation, uh, where nobody has the answers. I respect musicians that have a very good technique on their instrument. She has this as a fundamental. Before she even starts thinking of the creative brain, she has uh, the chops to be able to play the piano at a very high standard. <laughs> Music is a physical experience from the vibration and you resonate with sound. And that's very important. For me, it's the most important thing. Silence being illuminated, to me, is self-acceptance. 
light and darkness. They are two opposite things, but they are just as opposite as two feet walking. Everything is one.